Today I'm going to update the EV Base rear seat air conditioner control and multimedia system for the Model 3 and Y that I installed a couple months ago. This will include a system update and adding two new Android apps not available from the Play Store. Let's get started. For the system update, we start at the EV Base website and go to the rear seat display page. I'll post a link in the video description. Go down the page until you see the Upgrade Fahrenheit Celsius software. Click here button. When there are firmware updates, they will be posted in this area. This update has one bug fix. Press the button and a new screen comes up showing the file to download. Press the download button on the top right of the screen. This saves it to your computer. Notice that there are two download files. I have the older version without the seat adjustment feature, so I need to use the second file. The files are now in my download directory. Open the rare file using an app like WinRare or 7-Zip. Click on the Auto Update directory and then into the UI directory. There is one file called ivi-canbus.apk. Copy that file to the root of the flash drive. Just hold the file and drag it to the flash drive window as I show here. If this was the only thing we were updating today, I would now remove the flash drive. Instead, we have more to download. For the Android apps, we start at the Hand Show website and go to the rear seat display page. By the way, this device is the same for both EV Base and Hand Show and uses the same software. I'll post the link in the video description. Go down the page until you see the Netflix and Disney Plus installation for 7 inch screen. Click here. Press the button and a new screen comes up showing the file to download. Press the download button on the top right of the screen. The file is now located in the download directory. Open the rare file using an app like WinRare or 7-Zip like I did previously for the system update. Inside are DisneyPlus.apk and ZXNetflixRelease.apk files. Highlight those two files and copy them to the root of the flash drive. Hold them down and drag them to the flash drive window as I show here. Look towards the lower right of the screen and go to the taskbar. Eject the flash drive in Windows and remove the flash drive from the computer and then go to the car. Get in the rear seat and plug in the flash drive into the left USB-A port just below the screen and vents. There will be a prompt asking you if you want to upgrade. Press OK to continue. This will update the system files for the screen. You will see that the screen has details for the install process. When this completes, it will reboot the system. After that, you can remove the flash drive. The screen starts up and shows the open door warning. Just press the X button to close it. I'm curious if there's any changes to the system file version numbers. I'll go into the settings app in the app menu. I'll scroll down to the about car device button and press. Everything here looks the same, which makes sense since it's hardware information mostly. Scrolling down, we see the system information, and that also looks the same as before. Clicking on the Check Update button brings up this window, so I can pretty much confirm that the Android versions are the same. Going back to the main app menu, I'll now go to the Car Info app. We now have an updated version in 
very small typeface on the top right of the screen. It went from 1.0.986.2022 to 1.0.5.2023, so from October 22nd last year to March 7th this year. Press the home button to get back to the main HVAC control screen. Let's see what changed. Previously, the only option for temperature was Celsius. If I press the temperature, it will now switch to Fahrenheit. Press it again to switch. That was one of the things that I noted in my review and I'm glad they fixed it. And now for the second part of this installation, the new apps. In my review video, I noted that some of the streaming apps like Netflix and Disney Plus were not available for download from the Google Play Store. This has now been fixed by offering the apps to download, as I showed earlier in the video. Insert the flash drive into the left USB-A port as I showed before. Note that there's a USB icon on the screen now. Go to the screen and press the App Menu button on the bottom left of the screen. Then press the File Manager App button on the App Menu. Look for the USB flash drive and press it. You will now see the two Android installation files. I'll start with the Disney Plus app first. It starts the installation process, asks if you want to install, you press the install button, and it goes on its way. Shows a check mark saying the app is installed. You can then either open the app or press done. I can start the second one, press the ZX Netflix release, and it will start the process just like the other one. I'll speed up the video, and now it's done. I can hit the Done button, and then exit the File Manager app. Since I'm finished with installing things, I can remove the flash drive. Scroll over to the second page of apps, and we now see the two new apps that I just installed. The older Disney Now app can be deleted since it wasn't very useful if you don't have cable. I'll press the Disney Plus app now. I don't have my login info on me at the moment to test, but I'm sure it will work fine. The app starts up and asks you to sign up or log in. Press the back button on the upper right side to go to the app menu. Next, I click on the Netflix app I'm given the choice to update to a new version of the app. I'll choose Cancel to continue. It starts up and prompts with a sign-in button. I press that and enter my login information, and I do have the password for this one. After that, and as usual for Netflix, it shows the users of the account, and I'll press my preset to go into the menu. After declining the notifications, I see the list of videos that can be played. When future updates arrive with new features and bug fixes, I'll just follow the steps I showed you today in this video. If you're interested in the 7-inch rear seat screen, EVBase is running a 20% off sale for Easter. See the link in the video description. For videos on how to install and use this screen, look for them on the left and right during the outro. There are still two issues I would like to see addressed. First, they need to add the ability to connect Bluetooth headphones to the screen, otherwise it has to play through the car or the phone. And two, there's an audio lag when playing video files from streaming or by USB. I have contacted EVBase and Hanshow and they are aware of this and working on a fix. When this happens, I'll let you know. Another thing I would like to add is that I follow up my reviews when new information or updates are available. And that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.